Hello, friend. Welcome. So this, <laughs> this is our hello world. Actually, is our chess uh, iOS game for uh, implemented using Swift UI. So let's get rid of the hello world and uh, try to draw a chess board. Okay, and uh, we, we we don't need the text here. We will use a path here. Okay. So pass, it's like that. So the will be will be provided by uh, with a, a pass, which we can use to draw um, draw lines, draw shapes, draw something. <laughs> okay, so we can do pass dot. Mm, add a rect rectangle, okay? So X and Y, okay? So let's define our origin X and let's put the say 100 origin y that's the top left um yeah upper left corner of our upper left corner of our uh, game board chessboard so we'll use this one here origin x origin y with mm, okay so let's define a size here cell Cell side, okay. Because it's a square, that's defined. Let's use um, fifty-three here for now. Cell side and the cell side. Um, the path, okay. So can we run it? Oh, so by default. Is our uh, okay? I think now we can bring up, bring up our canvas. Resume. Okay, so. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Save some space. Okay. Good enough. Um, how can we? Okay, so let's draw another one. Um, actually, this one we want it to be um, to be filled with gray color okay dot fill no um we have to do it here like dot fill with a uh, color let's say is there something like light gray no so just use gray yeah great um, can we use color literal here mm, color literal no maybe can we do this color um, name the color okay ui color so now we can use color literal here that's cool so let's use a light color okay yeah um now next to it will be the uh, darker one right the standard chessboard is like the upper 
left is the the light one okay so mm, yeah so i think we'll we'll separate the we'll separate the two paths here um, let's draw another one so this is only for the gray one right so add rectangle like origin x oh we can use a for loop why not stupid stupid let's draw four of them okay um this might be too big so let's put it um like 29 okay so let's use a for loop for that for um this is column right for column in zero dot dot less than four we need four of them four gray in the first row now let's put this one in cell side um so the location will be this one plus um Two times column times cell side. Yeah, so this one column has to be cast to. Okay, that's great. Maybe this one is too big. Let's use 43. Okay, now. Let's create the the black part, okay? So um, there's no way to put the here, right? Pass. Is there something like that? Um, can we yeah uh, no so it means we have to use make uh, oh so can we make a copy of this one and put it here and uh, using a z stack to group them and uh, change this to plus one yes it works nice that's magic so let's highlight this one control i to auto format cool now we only need to do duplicate this for multiple times right and uh, oh we don't need to duplicate this can we put it here So yeah, it works. If we run it, nice. So now we need um, so duplicate this four times. Okay, so another for loop for row.
in zero uh, dot less than four. Now let's put this. I think we can hide this part to get a longer line out. Nice. So huge screen is so good. Okay, so let's put this one in here. So this we I don't want to use this full row because our logical coordinates the row zero will be at the bottom. So I can use it. I can use I for here. So we duplicate four times. But actually, it is a row, okay? It is a row, but it means different thing. It's not a logical row. Yeah, just the row for our game board here, because the game board it doesn't care which one is the. the yeah, the, the order is is not important. Now, uh, for the Y thing, right? So we'll add CG float two times row times times cell side. Is that okay? Resume. Yes. So actually we for the gray gray squares we need four more right four more rows okay so it means um four more rows okay so this is column this is row and uh, I think we need that, right? Another four, but the row will plus one. And uh, the column, yeah, plus one, two. Right, cool. So can we merge the two things? Yeah, we can merge the two for loop. So cut and uh, delete and uh, put it here nice and we'll do the same thing for the for the black squares so um, let's make a copy of that actually can we just copy this one and did a little bit modification okay so now we need to push one to the right here and uh, get rid of this one here Ta -da! cool so we have a beautiful chessboard in gray and black, eight by eight. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next.